Brand T, and welcome to Painting with Magic. Okay, guys, let's today we're going to do a little uh, some rays coming through the, the the clouds, and I think you're going to really enjoy how to do it. So, what we'll do is have the colors go across the screen for you, and we'll get into here. So, what I have here is a usual old 16 by 20 canvas, and I have it covered with a nice thin coat of Alexander Magic White, and you can use a code to get 25% off Magic White using this little code going across the screen now. So. Let's do it. So we need to do a little sunshine color. So we get some cadmium yellow. And we'll use a big nice two and a half inch brush. And get a little bit of that. Let's go up here now. And we'll decide where it'll be. Something like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll go a little darker. A little darker, darker. Okay, good. And we'll just put a little tiny bit in here. Good, 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 good. And then I'll take some yellow ochre. Just a little bit of yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is a lot stronger. A lot less stronger than the cadmium yellow. It is a tiny bit stronger. And we'll just a little bit there. There, good. A bit more, more, more. And today's paintings going to be based on more of the sky. Okay? More of the sky painting. That's what I got. Oh, there it goes. Good, good. And I kind of, kind of blend those together a little bit on some old brush. Okay, good. Maybe let's take it. Oh, we got it on here. And just take a little permanent red. A little bit of that. And on this side, just a little bit. Good. And maybe, maybe. Crimson, vision crimson. Good little color. It's a fantastic color. And on this side. And I'm just using an old egg stroke as I usually do. Sometimes I do little spins. And an egg stroke. And it's kind of got an orange kind of color to it. Let's take the brush down. I'm going to take a little one inch brush. And I'm going to take a little of the Prussian blue. Just a little bit of Prussian blue. And I use the one inch brush because I got a smaller area up here to work with. Okay, good. On this corner. And then on this side. This side, this corner. And then then you'll see what I do. You'll see what I'll do. And then I'll take I'll take fan brush. Now I'm gonna leave this spot open and you'll see what that's for. Take a little titanium white. Good amount of titanium white. Really low that brush. Good, good. And we're going to make sun rays. And we're going to go across this way. So watch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. A good sun ray. And another one there. Okay. Good. Don't even have to do much to them. I'm going to take now another clean. It's clean. And kind of soften it just a tiny little bit. And then at the bottom, I kind of spin some of this white in there. Okay, that's good. Now it's time to make those sun rays really pop off here. So, what we do, 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 is we take some ivory black, spin it down there, titanium white, a little touch of blue, and lizard crimson. Yeah, those little, little colors. Maybe more, more, more white. Don't worry, you want too, too dark. But just dark enough to where it kind of looks kind of stormy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. That's good. Good color. And these will go right in front of the sun rays. Oh, yeah. Good. That's nice. <laughs> spin it around. Just spin it around. That's good. Let's get my picture. So far, so far. I kind of want to kind of, if it kind of open there, open, 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 and yeah, that's good. Kind of something, something like this, something like this. Okay, good, 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 good. And then we just kind of 
fluff those little clouds up. And like so. Soften them, soften them, soften them up. Soften them up. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'll take, I'll take, and we'll mess with the sun rays again just a little bit. Okay, a bit more paint. We'll fling it right there. And then we'll fling it down low. Good, looking pretty good. Looking good. And just kind of run over top of those a little bit more. That looks pretty nice. Sun's kind of behind everything. Sun's behind this big old cloud. Maybe more, more this time. Maybe more lizard and crimson in it. I kind of want it to be a little more of a pinky kind of color now. More reddish. Yeah, on this side. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. A little bit there. A little more purpley. Kind of sun's hitting on this side a little there, and it just kind of let it kind of go all around these clouds. Okay, good. See, you can do these little clouds. Isn't that nice? That's a nice looking painting so far. And then, then, then I will. Mix up some color for some big trees at the bottom. So let's take the color we already got. And we'll take some ivory black, fresh and blue, there's some crimson, and a little sap green with it. Okay, good. Ready? Man, old big old brush. We don't matter. I think we'll do some kind of like today. Some kind of little like. And before I go into that, I'm just going to grab a little yellow. A big brush, and then I'll make a decision on how to get monkey face on. Good. Then, then, back to old colors again, and we'll just crunch it in, and then we'll put them in here. Good. These are behind everything. Just don't scare, just punch them in. All you need is basic, basic little shapes. Basic little shapes that live in here. To me, these are kind of eastery kind of colors, guys. Good. Okay, good. Different, different. Anyways, I'm just kind of scraping some little bones back here. It's all good. It's all good stuff. Now I'll just pull this down too. It don't matter. And I go across. So far so good. So we need a little magic white. Yeah, touch of magic white on a orange brush. And I'm gonna thin down some paint. Some cadmium yellow. And a little touch of magic white. And some green, green, sap green. That's good. And made more and more paint. And we'll go up here, load it up, and we'll just tap. Tap in some trees. Little trees up in here. Trees that live all up in here. All kinds of trees. Just some here and there and there and there trees. Here and there and there and there. Made more magic light on the old brush. And all magic white will do is it'll thin down the paint. <laughs> and it's good. Hang on this one. And over here. Okay, it's looking good. And on this side a little bit. And then over here. Alrighty, and I'll do some scratching. <clears throat> some of these are going to be a little bit too far to get some highlight on. Not too bad, too bad. Now go in here at the bottom. 
for the bottom. And if you do highlight every one of them, it's not going to look kind of real to me. I like to have some areas that don't have that many highlights. And yeah, it's going to drop them into the water. It don't really matter. It don't really matter at all. And we'll just pull down, pull down. And I go crossed. Good. I think we need a little bit of some, some water lines here on this side. So I'll take a little magic white. A little titanium white. I mix mine together. I do about a 50-50 mixture of magic white and titanium white. And I'll go over here. And right here. We'll throw in our nice little water line. That's good. Okay. Alright, looking good, good, good. And then I'll decide I want some land, land, more land. I'm doing them taking on all the little dark colors. And then I will say here be some land. Some land that come across. And I got some other plans for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Worry about it. And kinda Soften it up. You want these to be more of a softer kind of grass. I'll pick up the big old brush now and I'll just keep going with it. More, more, more colors. I'll go around the palette, around the palette, I collect my colors, and I'm good to go. Okay. We need some grass in here, some little grass, little grass, you see? And we put in our grass. More, 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 more paint. And I'm just tapping on some softer kind of grass today. So I'm going to tap in more, and I'm going to kind of go over it as I go. And then the spots that I want to bring out, I'll just tap up that. And it brings me a soft kind of toned grass. Kind of more of a softer kind. Okay, back here, kind of picks up a little bit more. I kind of want it to be dark, this kind of color. Okay. Now I want to put a building in. I'll put a little building in, and I'll say my building is here. Okay, can you see it? Can you see what we're doing? Oh, I bet you know. Oh, we're just scratching our little building right there. There he is. Good. And we're just going to scratch them out just a little bit. Okay. Okay, now, now, now that you got your little church scraped out, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little badger flat brush and we're going to load it up into some titanium white. I want a little white church out there today. A little white church. And load up the old badger flat. The badger flat's a good old brush. And I'm going to take it and load it up and we'll give it a little bit of a push. Okay. And let's go up here. And we're going to start right in this, right on the front side of the church. And we're just going to load it in here. And it, it's probably going to turn gray on you first. But don't let that scare you, because we can put another coat on here. Don't let that scare you. Just go over your shape. This ain't a real detailed church. Okay? So just throw it in and go. Okay, good. And all I'm doing here is I'm just throwing in, just filling in where I want it to be white and whatever. Because this is going to be our light side. This is going to be our bright side. And I'm just loading up. I'm really loading this brush up heavily. I'm using the Alexander Titanium White Thick. You can use the Alexander Soft White if you want to for this. Okay. And on this side, really, really see, 
And it'll, it'll take a couple, probably a couple coats to really get this nice and bright white. But you really don't want to do it too bright of a white because uh, it's kind of an old church. Maybe one side of this, the top part, a little top. We'll make one side white and we'll blend it a little bit to make it look kind of uh, like it's uh, more of a three-dimensional kind of shape. We'll use a little, the mop brush, the Alexander mop. And we'll blend this and then we'll do one little last detail on it after we're done with it. That really starts to bring it kind of alive. And real quickly, I'm going to thin down with a little thotted brush. I'm going to thin down some paint here. And just to kind of make this kind of stick out a little bit. Top to the roof. Kind of like the top sticks back a little bit from it. And we got the little brush on here. We'll put a little cross on it. Ooh, there it is. And we'll just bend that the little fingerprint. No big deal. Not a big problem. Then I'm going to do my roof. I think I'll do it with the, the small knife. And we'll use some, we'll use some uh, brown. My neck brown. And we'll just fill in the roof. Fill in the old roof. Okay. Good, good. So far, so good. So far. There's kind of... Something like so. So they could do it in no church in no time. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, over there. On this side. We see some of the roof. Stick the tan and white. We'll thin down a color just to highlight the old roof with the blue in there. And a little brown. A little brown. Because we don't want this to take away from our white church. I'm gonna come up here. I want to do a little dabs. Kind of make it look like a little shingles is kind of on here. Okay, you can give it a little bit of a shingly kind of roof. You know what I'm saying? Get some old shingles on here. And that's good, good, good. And we're gonna to need to make our doorway. And we'll just use our badger flat for that too. Let's wipe it out. And we'll take some blue, some brown, load it up real good, good. And we'll just put a little door in. Probably make him a little bit wider. And the nice thing about this brush is it goes to a nice sharp point. Okay, and that door's a little. Not straight, but there it goes. Hey, it's good. Maybe on this side are some little little windows. Okay, it's good. Put a little cross there. A little cross there. Good. Hey, there's a little. A little window or something up there for the attic. Alright, you got a little church in. Uh, we just need to put some grass at its foot. At its foot. Okay. And then we need a little pass so the people can go here and then go to church. And they have a good time. And something, something like so. Don't be too much. It might be too much. We'll just use the old, old knife to kind of finish it off. Or... This here old church is up in the woods, up in the old somewhere out there. That's good. They got a nice little place there. Alrighty. And take some white and some yellow ochre with it. Don't matter. Some brown. Good. And we'll just start to highlight the old. Okay. 
That's good. So yeah, he's going along. He's doing a good job. Yeah, it took some old yellowy kind of color with some magic white. Gotta have the magic light on. And we'll just do that. Inside. Maybe, maybe, maybe. This big brush. Boom. Mm. Maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. I got a big tree over here. Oh. Let's make it just a little bit more thicker. So I'll go back from the top again. I'll push down harder. And it's a big old super tree. Big super tree. And we need another little, little something over here. Kind of hangs it off of them. Little tree. Something about like that. Maybe it's got a little, little arm or kind of. Sticks off of my cat. Then, then we'll just uh, start to highlight him. And just be titanium white. Same, same color we used for the old pad. And so back here. And we'll use a big knife to one side, one side. Good. We're just kind of throwing in a highlight. I'm trying to make these paintings go as fast as possible. That way you don't get bored watching them and you can learn how to do something nicely in a painting quickly. If you're just now starting out, I got a new DVD out. It's the Beginner Series DVD Volume 1. Okay. Now I need to move on from those and put some limbs in. There's some other things I want to do to this painting before I go. And I just, I'm just going to throw these in here um, quickly. But you have time. You have a really good amount of time at home. You can sit there in your studio and paint. I'm going to try to show you the basic idea of how you can accomplish uh, these little paintings kind of give you the t show you the technique. Okay, that's what's important. We don't do no cuts here. We do straight through videos. You see me do every step. Okay, I'm trying to get these in here best as I can. Maybe more magic clear. But we have other videos on here to show you how to do these little limbs. And right now you're kind of showing you're seeing the technique of it. You're just seeing the technique. Okay, good. But just take your time on it. Take your time. There's no rush. Okay. And that's about what I want to do to that one, that tree. At the base. If I got more time, I'll come back to it. Now you want to see something really cool here today. We're going to put some little flowers in. It's kind of like little, bunch of little Easter little flowers or something. I'm going to take, and I took Magic Clear. And I'm going to thin down my cadmium yellow. Really good. We're going to start spraying little flowers in. Okay, good. And I'm going to set the old palette down. And I'm going to check it real quick on my paper towel. Okay, good. It should be starting to go pretty good. Okay, check it again. A little loose. You're going to see a bunch of little flowers start to come alive down here. See those? Bunch of them. This is the same way you would do snow. Okay? You do snow this way too. Bunch of these little flowers. Okay? And I'll grab me a paper towel. Maybe there's a little extra there. Yeah, maybe a little bit right here. But you want to be careful when you get to little buildings or or your water, or if you're doing it by your sky. Next, I'll pick up some permanent violet. 
and I'll thin him down as well. And I got a little yellow in this. Hopefully it's not a big problem. I'm going to grab some white. And it's going to be nice little purpley kind of flowers. And thin down a little bit more. A little bit more. It should be thin enough to spray. And we'll check it out up here. I think it'll be a little thinner. Probably a little large, so I'll add a little magic white to it. And a little bit more the clear. Magic clear. And we'll see what we... That's good. If you can zoom in on this here, you probably can see it pretty good, maybe. Hopefully you can see that. I might make this a little lighter. This way you can see these. It's a super way there you go. I think you can see that now probably. Nice little meadow full of little flowers that you can just pick up and take with you. Okay. I think that's probably pretty good. I might take some, some red to thin it down too. There's a bunch of different kind of colors. Then I'm going to wash the brush out. Okay. Then we'll take some magic white. And we'll kind of put some in here too. These would be kind of highlights. Okay, I think it's that looks pretty good for our little painting today. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm just going to kind of fix that because some of those little flowers kind of came across there. But I hope you enjoyed this little painting. I hope it really helped you out and got you going. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to sign it real quick. And I hope that you really, really enjoyed it today. I hope you try this one out. If you, enjoy, if you try this out, if you want our Facebook page at uh, Painting with Magic. Or on Twitter at Paint with Magic. And you showed your pictures there. And we hope you enjoyed this little painting today. This one's ready for a gallery. And so is yours. And we'll see you next time. And I would come up here now and start following your.